Yo, yo, I'm Karase, and welcome to an update video. Damn, I actually haven't said that in a very long time. <laughs> wow. Uh, I guess time flies, right? So, um... Oh boy, this is gonna be an interesting video. So, yeah, this is basically an update video. Merry Christmas. Kwanzaa, where the f- <laughs> God damn it. So this is an update video. To kind of give you guys an idea what's going to be going on for the rest of this year, but also um, pretty much the future in general, the next year or five, to be honest. Plus, uh, one thing that if you guys can't already tell, this video is technically going to be taken in one take. Uh, I have notes right now of, with a bunch of talking points. Plus, uh, as you can tell, I'm stuttering, just blabbling and stuff. Uh, yeah, I didn't have a script to write for this, so I'm like, mm, and I'm loosely going to edit this as well, so, <sighs> yep. So, first on the docket is one in which I'm still surprised that we managed to make it to this point, because when I created this channel, I was like, we're going to get to this point, then we'll maybe get to this point by the end of the year, or the end of the year two, whatever, whatever, but... Thank you guys so much for 100 subs, which I'm still reeling over. Like, I'm still in shock that I managed to make it to 100 subs. Like I said earlier, uh, when I created this channel, I had very, very low expectations. Like, I was not expecting this channel to do well and stuff. Like, it'll do well eventually, but during its beginnings, it's just going to be, it is what it is type of deal. So I was like, we're going to get to 50 subs. I'm gonna celebrate that, and if we get to 100 within the next year, then boom. That exactly didn't happen in 2021, but by 2022, it did happen with the Mega 10 Retrospect, and then later, the Cyberpunk video, which I'm really happy those are doing so well and stuff. So, yeah, plus, in general, this year has been a much better year than 2021. Uh, beyond how in 2021, I had a little break, which, to be honest, I wasn't really feeling the best around that time. Like, early, early 2021 was very rough for me. But in dealing with school and personal life, then, you know, the rest of that year was fucking hell, to say the least. But in 2022 happened, everything got better. I'm doing a major that I really, or I'm doing something that in school where I'm really passionate about, which is video games. So... A feature for game developer, a a a, <laughs> and um in general though I've been surrounding myself with people who are also trying to grow on this platform, and just in general they've been extremely supportive of my ventures and also been helping me out with how to do my thumbnails, how to do certain other things, research and so on and so forth. Which if you could tell when a Nocturne video happened, my thumbnails or no, it wasn't a Nocturne video. It actually was I think it was the if video. No, it was the if video. Uh how the thumbnail was completely different at that point. And how from that point on it got so much better. And I also fixed the uh thumbnails for everything up until Psychonauts, the first Psychonauts, the Psychonauts 2, one of those two videos. So yeah, I was in general, you know, I'm really grateful for the people that I surrounded myself with, but also grateful to you guys for getting me to this point. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys continue to rock with me for the rest of the year. In the next few years, then, you know, we go crazy, go stupid, and you know, I'm really planning a lot of dumb shit right now. That is definitely going to be fun. So I hope you guys can stick with me for that. And again, thank you so much. Okay, but with the sentimental stuff done, okay, it's not really sentimental. I, it's really important to me. But uh, yeah, let's get to the next one. Was our let's see. Here. Uh, oh fuck, the rest of the games we're reviewing this year, which is long story short, the mainline Mega Ten games. So we have four more games for the Mega Ten Retrospect, which is Strange Journey, Four, Four Apocalypse, and finally Five. Now, a heads up, I haven't played Four or Four Apocalypse yet. I think I played a little bit of Four to test out the 3DS emulation for my new PC. But other than that, I didn't play a lick of these games. I know who the characters are and the, the general premise, but nothing about everything else beyond that, I don't know shit about. So. Those are going to be pretty interesting, but I have played Strange Journey before, 
which I haven't fully beaten it, but I played a little bit of it where to the point it was when I was younger playing it. Uh, it scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I'll go more in detail when that video happens, but it scared the shit out of me. And then with 5, I beat it a couple months back. And I have a lot of opinions on those games. Oh man, this is going to be a really interesting video once that pops off and stuff. But the major thing, uh, especially with the Strange Journey video, is that one of the major plans that I'm having for that video is actually going to be covering both the original and also the re-release. And which I normally would never do that for most games. And like hell, for the Shimagami Tensei review, I was thinking about kind of going back and looking at the PS1 game because I was going to, you know, include both of them together. But with how Strange Journey Redux is set up, it is a drastic change from the base story. Like, here's the thing. Strange Journey Redux has the base story, but also has the new story on top of it. So I kind of wanted to check that out and kind of mush those two together. And considering how long that's going to take, because both Strange Journey and Strange Journey Redux is about 50 hours each. Uh, that video is not coming out until hopefully Halloween. If not, I don't know, but it's my plan is to try to get it out during Halloween. So in terms though of what's going to be happening between the release of this video and the Legend Dragon video and going into, you know, October and stuff, I do have two videos and maybe three videos that I am going to be checking or I'm going to be, <laughs> wait, I'm going to be doing so that, you know, you guys won't be, str be starved for content. And the first idea is going to be a Kirsty introduces. And for all the new people on this channel, basically it's a, a little thing I like to do where I like to cover different franchises, whether or not you should get into them, how to get into them, and also go down you know memory lane with it a little bit. They're not reviews like like I do cover the gameplay, but I don't go into like the little details about it. So um, yeah, so that's gonna be one video. The next video is gonna be a collector's video, which I'm gonna be talking about my game collection. Wait, my game collection over there. And also talk about my experience on getting some of these games. And also, you know, talk about the market too, because the retro market is completely fucked. And I, I kind of ran about that without making a whole twit longer about it. So yeah, <laughs> that's a long story short of it. Um, and the third video, I don't know what I'm going to do next for um, that one actually, but I might do a review. And I, I want to put a heavy emphasis on might do a review for that because I don't like to do like two reviews simultaneously and stuff. But if I have to, I will. And whatever I review is what I'm going to review, and we'll call it a date there. Awesome. Right. This don't expect it to be a JRPG unless it's like Undertale or Mori. Cool, gotcha, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's basically what's gonna happen for that video. And then after you know that happens, the Strange Journey video is gonna come up. Uh, four is gonna come out sometime during November. For Apocalypse, sometime during December. And five will come out around January. And with that, basically the marathon will be completely done, and will technically be done with Megaton. Kind of. So yeah, the uh, elephant in the room real quick. The big elephant in the room is that uh, one of our mini retrospects that we're going to be doing is going to be Majin Tensei and also Ronde. Which I did promise you guys I was going to do for the 50 subs. I'm not looking forward to those games. I'm going to be completely honest with you. But I don't know. It might be different. It might be fun. It might be entertaining. It might also cost me that, you know, have a brain aneurysm. But afterwards, I'm going to be taking a short break. Also, wait, before I, we talk about the short break, I'm also going to add two other titles to that little mini retrospect. I won't tell you what it is, but you can comment down below what's, uh, <laughs> God damn it, on what you think it would be. Uh, a hint, they both have to do with a city, and they're both Megaton related games. They're also strategy RPGs. Cool? Cool. But... Yeah, um, other than that though, we also have a little break that I'm gonna be taking after I finish those games because I'm just, you know, wanna chill, relax, detox for a bit, hang out with friends and family for a bit, you know, all that good stuff. And then afterwards, we're gonna be heading to our next mini retrospect, which is gonna be a rhythm game retrospect, which I did ask you guys a couple months back, which I'm also a little sad that you guys maybe wanna say like, oh, do a rhythm game retrospect over a clock tower, but we'll save Clock Tower for Halloween, whenever that happens. <laughs> but 
Um, basically, the little rhythm game versus pet is going to be focused on mainly Forever the Rapper and Space Channel 5, which I do want to check out, especially because Space Channel 5 is getting a movie adaptation soon. And Forever the Rapper, I want to give love to that little dog. Fucking love those games. And yeah, so we will be checking those out. And then afterwards, everything else, ooh, everything else is also going to be kind of interesting. Alright, so, for the next set of games that we're also going to be reviewing before the next major retrospect, you know, after the mini one and stuff, um, there are a couple, but also most of them are just going to be like ones that are compacted together, if that makes sense. So, for example, the first one, which I'm going to take out my notes for this to make things a lot easier, is going to be Street Fighter. Now, for Street Fighter, the major plan for that one is, if I were to do it, if I were to do a Street Fighter video, it wouldn't be on each of the games, because each of the games are, is, there are... <laughs> I don't describe it. They're different, but not drastically different from one game to the next. Now, Street Fighter 1 and 2 are drastically different games, but Street Fighter, uh, or actually, really, they're all the same game. Just the building blocks are there, just add new mechanics and stuff. So um, I feel like that will be a lot easier to do, especially because of my history with it. Plus, if we do do a Street Fighter video, it's also going to include the Alpha games, because you can't really talk about Street Fighter without Alpha. And then also maybe the EX games. Actually, I will do the EX games. You know, EX games seem interesting. Also really weird, but pretty interesting for the most part. And I'm, for the Tekken video, really for the Tekken video is gonna be in two parts. Like I'll talk about one half was starts with the PS1 games all the way to tag tournament. And then the second part will be for four all the way to seven. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna do like Tekken cause it might be Street Fighter over Tekken first, but it just depends when Tekken 8 is going to come out, though we might not really know until June-ish, so... I don't really know, it's kind of up there right now. Um, so, the next set of games also is going to be the Dragon Ball games. More specifically, it might be Budokai and Budokai Tenkaichi. And why we're going to talk about those is because those are classics, plus my cousin wanted me to review them like last year, and I think I'll have the perfect opportunity to actually talk about them now. Plus, who doesn't love Budokai and Budokai Tenkaichi? Those are classics, especially on the PS2, so... Yeah. Um, next is also going to be God Hand and Okami. Now, for God Hand, I've been seeing a lot of clips of it on TikTok. Plus, and just in general, I've been wanting to try that game out for a while now, so that would be a great opportunity to do so. Plus, God Hand seems like a funny-ass game. It seems like no, it's like No More Heroes just make Travis Touchdown just run hands and shit. So, yeah, and then with Akami, it's the funny part because I actually own the remaster on Switch, but ever since I bought it during the pandemic, I haven't even fucking touched it. Hell, I don't even think I tried touching it this year or even last year. So, hopefully in 2023, I'll get a chance to play it. Maybe. This, yeah. Um, next is Police Knots, which... I was debating on, you know, I was trying to figure out another game I wanted to do during that time, and I felt like, you know what? I want to do Police Knots. I was thinking about also remaking my Snatcher video, but I feel like that video is decent for the most part. I'm probably going to remake it in the future, but for now, I want to do Police Knots, cover that game, because Police Knots is pretty gas. I played half of it up to the uh, end of the first disc, and I really enjoyed it. So, yeah, but... Yeah, I don't know what else I'm supposed to say with that. Um, next is Urban Rain, which I was recommended by a couple people from game shops that I went to throughout the year. Um, a lot of people kept on mentioning Urban Rain. Uh, I saw gameplay of it and I was like, ooh, this shit looks fucking fire. Oh, bet. We're going to have to cover this bad boy. And finally, it's going to be the Code Lyoko game. So, it's fun fact last year, I was supposed to talk about Code Lyoko before I did Sweet Home. But when Sweet Home came out, I was like, I wanted to do the Kirsten and introduce this. I want to, to start this Megan in retrospect now because I'm really excited about it. So I basically stopped that. <laughs> so basically we're doing all the Kolioka games. Basically on the Wii, PS2, PSP, and you get the rest, right? Cool, cool. All right, so now it's time for the big main event. And that is for the next three retrospects. Yes, the next big major three retrospects I've already come up with. I already know what's going to be going down. Hell, I might even say five. Not really, though. Three is the main one. So, um, okay, where do I start? All right, um, so for this first one, 
I was debating it on whether or not I wanted to do this because the major thing is that within all five of his games, uh, there's a lot to talk about. I haven't played through the fifth game, nor have I completely... No, it's mainly I haven't played through the fifth game. In the first game, I kept on seeing a lot of talk about on Twitter, and I was like, if I see one more person talk about this damn game, I'm going to say fuck it, and we're going to talk about this franchise immediately. And long story short, it happened, and after maybe a week of thinking about it, I was like, fuck it, we're going to do it. So, can we get a drum roll, please? Oop. Okay. I don't know how this fucking drum roll is going to last. But the next major retrospect is going to be Persona. Yep. The Persona retrospect is going to be the next major retrospect that we're going to be doing for this channel. And what I mean we're going to be doing it, we're going to be doing it big for this one. We're going to be covering um, all the mainline games. So, Persona 1 all the way through Persona 5. But also, we're going to be covering... the. Uh, most of the spin-off games, like we'll do Persona Q and Q2, and then we'll do the Persona 4 Arena games. Now, what about the dancing games, you may be wondering? No! <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. No, we are gonna do the dancing games. The only problem is, is that I have to emulate, it's either I'm gonna have to emulate it or I'm gonna have to buy a whole ass PS4 just to play them. And here's the thing, I don't have a lot of money. <laughs> like. I don't have a lot of money to spend on a whole ass console, and hell, even then, I already have a bunch of consoles that I want to buy first before I ever buy a PS4, so let's just get that out the way. But we might do the dancing games sometime in the future, but those are going to be the main games I'm going to be doing now. It might change to me just doing the mainline games, and we'll do like the side games later on, but that's just the general plan as is. Now, afterwards, the next major retrospect is going to be Yakuza. Now, this was actually going to be happening first, before Persona, but um, one, I wanted to actually play Drew all in the mainline like, Yakuza games. So I've been trying to play Drew. Right now, I'm playing Drew 4. I'm actually almost done. I need to play it. Then I need to play 5, 6, and 7 and stuff. I played Drew all the other ones. But it's just those games I have to beat. And I especially want to beat it before uh, Yakuza 8 comes out. Because I do intend on playing Yakuza 8 um, when it first releases. Like, I'm going to get it day one. So, uh, yeah, those are games I'm definitely excited for. And especially the Judgment games. Man, I really want, I really can't wait for the, uh, to get my hands on the Judgment PC ports. So, yeah. And as for the third game, the third one is going to be kind of an oddball. But I am going to be doing the Ace Attorney games. Now, even though we don't have any confirmation yet that, hey, Ace Attorney 7 is coming out, I'm fucking manifesting it right now. And this is one and like, I'm like, bro, I need Ace Attorney 7. Ace Attorney 6 was really good, and I need Ace Attorney 7, like, fucking Ace 7 and stuff. But I've also been seeing people talk about it on Twitter. Um, this and also Persona were games I saw a lot of people talk about on Twitter. So thank you, Twitter fucking hellscape of a goddamn app but um in all seriousness though i do want to talk about these games but what about the future though the future is the big the big major one right and i know i'm eventually gonna get questions later down the line of when will i ever do sonic when will i ever do mario castlevania and all these other titles and i'll say this right now castlevania and sonic are definitely gonna be games i'm gonna do eventually down the line I am planning on doing Sonic for more or less of like a 500 sub celebration, and for Castlevania, I'm trying to find out the right time to talk about it. <laughs> Flood's trying to get the actual games itself, I eventually want to do that, even though the process of that is going to be a hellhole to say the least on my damn wallet, but Sonic is definitely one I do want to do eventually. and. Speaking of platformers, if you're curious on whether or not I'm going to do Sonic first or Mario, I kind of already insinuated it, but Sonic is going to be the first big one to do because as a platformer, that was the first one I was really ever introduced to and the one I actually have a lot more of a personal connection to. And yes, that does confirm that I'm a Sonic fan. If you got anything to say, eat my ass. <laughs> But other than that, thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video, or if you did make it to the end of the video, uh, I'm surprised that you actually managed to deal with my stuttering and shit, trust me. 
if I ever do an update video again, I'm definitely writing a fucking script for it. But, uh, so yeah, so I hope you guys are prepared for the new videos that are going to be coming out soon, especially the Strange Journey video. I know I'm really excited for it, and by the time this video is uploaded, which is going to be probably ahead of time, I'm recording this on Sunday when the Legend of the Dragon video came out, and I'm about to drop it Monday and about to edit it after, you know, I'm done with this and shit. But, um, I hope you guys are really excited for it. I know I am, and I'm going to be starting that recording on monday so oh i'm so excited but other than that like always make sure to like comment and subscribe it greatly helps out the channel and make sure to stay safe wear a mask because it's getting crazy out there and i'll see you guys next time peace